My name is Leah and I'm currently in Dallas and the situation is just like dating. I just, I hate it right now. I hate the dating pool and I'm just having a hard time meeting people. How old like, are you, darling? Uh, 26. You should have no problem at all. And from your profile picture, it looks like you're giving body, yaddy, 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 yaddy. <laughs> I don't think there should person. be any struggle. What's the struggle? What's happening when you're going out and dating? Well, I feel like my industry I chose, I'm a personal trainer. So I do have to show a little body to get like clients and everything. And with that and dating, I find that I feel like men just want, obviously we know what they want. And, you know, so I just feel like I'm having a hard time meeting someone that actually wants to get to know me. My rule too, I'm not saying, you know, it never happens, but I don't ever like to date anyone through social media. So no one in the DMs, no one. What I would do is Saturday night, Leah. I would dress up. You have a great body, a great face. And I would get out and start dating. Get out of the house. It's over. She a personal trainer. No bread, no water, just meat. She get meat. She said, Ashley, you know what these men want. They only want one thing. <laughs> That's tough, man. You know, there's a group of guys that prey on female personal trainers. And there's a group of women that prey on male personal trainers, man. It, it is a workplace hazard. It's, it's, it's full of testosterone and estrogen and pheromones. If if desirable people interact, what's going to happen is going to happen. Shout out to Brother Q. You cannot defy nature. You have two desirable people out here working and sweating and breathing hard. Your mind going to go where it's going to go. It's called nature. <laughs> so here we go. Let's see what else she got. <laughs> don't meet men online on dating apps. Get out of the house. Get right with that because I don't, I don't really go out at all, actually. Yeah, so. You got to get out the house. You're beautiful. You're in shape. Let's go. Get dressed tonight. What time is it right now where you are? Uh, it's eight o'clock and I'm, I'm home. <laughs> Perfect. So it's time for you. As you finish listening to me, I, I'll be on here probably for another hour by what? Nine, 10 o'clock, 10 o'clock. You should come back and say, I'm headed out the door. I know you got nice clothes. See, this is the thing about the girls who don't go out or who may not have many friends. You have all your clothes look good on you, but you just wish you had someone to go out with. That's the only problem. That, that is, and um, I, I don't think I don't put myself on a pedestal or anything, but I find that, you know, with making friends, sometimes it's a little hard and people may be in, intimidated by the way I look is what I've, my experience. And so I find myself by myself, so I don't want to go out by myself. And so then I'm stuck at the house. You won't be alone for long. You won't be alone for long. Okay. That's a little okay. scary. We'll see, you in an hour. Little we'll see you in an hour with the fit on. And it's daytime. Oh, it's it's dark here in New York City. Girl, <laughs> if you don't put on some clothes, let's go. Put that on now. Okay. That's the dress. Okay. Put it on and grab a bag. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna, yes. I'm gonna try it and I'm gonna let you know how it goes. <laughs> Please tag us, let us know. A few moments later. <laughs> Baby, okay, let's see. Okay, come on, Leah. I'm just staring it with like a Steve Madden, but okay, okay. Yeah. What other bags do you have? That bag looks too big. I feel like you need something more dainty. Too big? I have a lot. Um, too big. I could definitely get like a smaller, like a little wallet. A little dainty something. So here we go. Hey yo, hey yo, hey yo, hey yo. What they say? She cleaned up well. Ain't that what y'all say? She got that tattoo. She 26, no kids. A Ashley, right off the rip, said, why are you having a hard time? You ain't bad looking. She said, these men just want to clash my meats. <laughs> you know, I knew Ashley sounded kind of familiar with her, with her, you know, advanced hyena tactics. Like I said, shout out to my mom. My mom taught me the game. Like how Ashley talking, you know, talking how to Tell, trying to teach these women how to prey on men this is this is the rhetoric i heard that's what i'm like this is hyena behavior there's nothing good comes out of this these are mercenaries the tattoo says it all she going she going out right now let understand the context this sister had no plans for the evening she didn't know what she was gonna do 
She had her rose charged up. Her wand was ready. Some wine. She said, I know what I'm going to do. <laughs> Don't nothing else come through. Now, all of a sudden, on a whim, she going to jump up and go outside tonight. And and on the whim, she could run across that guy, ask you to talk her all up, then gas her up. And now she like, I'm going to go home with somebody tonight, somebody that I like, somebody that I choose. And here comes a one-night stand, brewing. Premeditated one-night stand. You're welcome. So here we go. She belongs to the streets. We're going to let her cook. Something, yeah. Okay. Yeah, but, yeah, this is it. I'm, I've Sounds never, like, like, gone out to get a drink by myself. So oh, cool. it's new. It's first time for everything, yes. Yeah. And you're going to record this. You're going to film this. You're going to go to the bar. You're going to be one of those girls on TikTok. Hey, guys, this is my first time out at the bar by myself. Oh, my gosh. And then you're going to flip the camera. Here's my drink. Okay. okay. <laughs> you look good. You look don't i want you to not have that nervous energy okay breathe because i want you to walk in and people like oh my gosh who is that you just own the space you're just walking remember walk Go head over to the bar smile if a guy looks at you don't look nervous smile okay i think you're good at that you got that type of energy okay. and let's go i need to put my hair down but so okay I like hair down. down i like your hair down yes hair down smell this yes yes hello come on booty Okay, y'all better go sign up. Listen, y'all see what it is. A big old booty, and everybody says she's a fine booty. The booty is where the doo doo is, boy. I'll give Ashley credit. Ashley, she's a dating coach, you know, a woman coach, and all this. She ain't here for the men. She does a good job at building these goofy women up and putting a battery in their back. <laughs> and that she did. She looked, Ash, she gassing her up. She got her. Halfway about the twerk, yeah. Show that booty, show that boy. Look at it. It's this is amazing. Women will only here we go. Heathen Queen, you stop now. This is data. We tell Heathen Queen to tell these younger sisters how to behave and to act like they got some cooth about them. And Heathen Queen said they won't listen. We just happen to observe this woman listen to every word that Ashley Dalton said. Ashley told this. This woman was sitting in the house, wasn't going to where Ashley said, put on some clothes, show me, and go outside. And she said, okay. She put on the dress. She said, here I am. Now what do I do, Ashley? Ashley said, show me some confidence. She started posing like an awkward Zoolander. Ashley said, no, smile. Show me a butt. Do it. <laughs> go get them, hyena. <laughs> so, yeah. Definitely ain't a bad looking sister. She Kendra top. 10 from the looks she 26 no kids the software is completely if you up here asking ashley for this kind of advice it's showing me what you being imprinted with if she didn't have the notorious upper body tattoo maybe i would give her some grace but i can't no more i can't be as gullible as i was yesteryear she's a raging hyena until further notice you're not gonna be alone for too long i promise okay. you won't be alone for too long okay keep this energy let's go we okay, count thank on you Leah. so much like i literally i love you so much thank you so much you're welcome darling have fun and be safe okay two hours later leah <laughs> it's a three-part <laughs> series okay yeah, I just wanted to come on here for a little bit before I get off because more people are coming in, but we're out. We did it. <laughs> you look Thank good, you. Leah. Oh my God, I'm so proud of you. Are you kidding? Yeah, no, I just giving my love to my virtual MC. I, I did it. Did it? Did you? Are you kidding? Yeah. That's why I have to say. Yes, you look good. Bye, guys. Bye, bye, bye. Anyways, thank you. I seriously love you, but us. Leah was scared two hours to go, two hours ago to go out by herself. One hour ago, she got ready and left and was nervous. Here we are right now. She's at the bar and talking to people. Come on now. This is what we do here on this side of TikTok. From scared to getting dressed to being nervous to sitting at a bar and saying, I got to go because a man is coming. Her confidence shifted. Okay. Oh, wow. Look at Karen. Let's see the outfit.
Here we are right uh, now. She's at the bar. Yeah, I'm not sure what that was, but uh, the net net of it, like Ashley said, she did the steps. A, B, C, one, two, three. Now she's about to go home and get her cheeks clapped. <laughs> Is that the ultimate goal? No, it's not. It's hilarious. Should no woman on the face of this earth find it an accomplishment in getting her cheeks clapped or glazed? That's a given. That's why 304 is the oldest profession ever known to man, because it's a given. You a woman, you available, it's available, a man shall enter. It's not difficult. <laughs> so here we go. Like you said, she got 43,000 followers, 14 posts. Um, she's doing Cheeks. some type of fitness, nutrition, and selling Cheeks. products. Yeah. Yeah. It was this guy. He talked about this. They'd be showing products, but you know, her cheeks will dominate the shot. So that's what it is. Cheeks. <laughs> What's well, dominating the shot? It ain't that mirror. It's them cheeks. 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 <laughs> okay. At least she looked like she working out. I'll give her this. For us, all that was going on, there was not a million red flags with this woman. Outside the fact that she's taking advice from Ashley Dalton. That was the overall cringe. Like, she was looking the part. She got no kids. She's a personal trainer. That's so, yeah, I guess you would have to be in this world as well. You would have to be a personal trainer guy, maybe in your 40s. All right. And you're looking for a young thing. That, uh, that little advanced lunge move she did ain't good for your knees. And her running form is poop. <laughs> yeah, sound good, but listen, we ain't, we can't be technical up here. These women, <laughs> hell, these women ain't getting up off the couch. As far as I'm concerned, this is as good as it gets. Yeah, I agree. I agree. She's going to be yeah, complaining about them knees. We can't, be, we can't be checking for her pinky toe and her eyebrows now. Mm -hmm. Like I said, she ain't, she ain't the model citizen. Obviously, there's better women, but you will be hard pressed to find them. That's all in America. There you go. I agree. I listen here. I've jumped on that crazy train. I said, considering all this out there, a sister like this, raging hyena and all, she top selection. I hope you ninjas enjoy it. So that's why they won't settle down. They just gonna like she just said. A guy walk right up to her in the bar, and she just got new game from Ashley to figure out how to run more game on men. And it's her software that's going to destroy her in the end. There you go. And that is ultimately the biggest problem is mind over matter. Mind controls the matter. All right. Mind controls the body. <laughs> so as far as she go, we're going to send her up the Glaze Galaxy. And... There you go. Glaze Galaxy premium selection for sure. Yeah, she got that mercenary tattoo. Y'all see. Listen. <laughs> This woman here, she ain't going to, ain't too many men turn that down. Single men, she can get them near 99% glaze rate. That's a fact. Yeah, 99% for sure. And that, that 1%, don't know who that is. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, <laughs> ah, it's unfortunate. Mm -mm -mm. She got the gains too. Look at her. She said, I'm to put the work in. There you go. That's what's up here. You like, like I, I want to make sure I'm being clear. Yes, this is what this is the figure that man desires. It's just the software. And you can't look past the software just because of a big butt. You can't. You It will be detrimental to you. That part. So it's unfortunate. Like you said, unless you are strong, you got to have some instruction. Don't be out here if you don't know how to get a woman on your program. You got to have already done it. You're like, look, I done been here with dozens of women like this. I know exactly what to do. Don't Ooh. be out here like, oh, this is my first time dealing with a woman like this. She going to run game on you. There you go. Now we get somewhere, Mr. X. This here is not for beginners. No. This is Black Diamond Slopes on, on, this, on the... Uh, on the ski slopes, double black diamond. Make sure you don't go in here emotional. You got to be stern, man. Because if she see any little bit of weakness, she going to exploit it. 
and it's gonna be over for you. I like that. Advance Bay. Beginners do not approach. <laughs> Don't approach. <laughs> that's all. That's a lot. But the net net of it. She belongs to the streets. Yeah. Net net of it. Yeah, as far as she go, yeah, we're gonna send her off the Glaze Galaxy. Yeah, fitting. Mm-hmm. We got us the gun line. Tell them about the gun line, boss. We may not know which way to go. Oh, no, I see this shit is going to be dangerous. Some dark winged duck shit. Let's get dangerous. I play the fool for the fool. Everybody plays the fool sometimes. And no exception to the rule. Listen, baby. Yeah, I I really like the way you put that. Them gym sisters, there you go. Uh, gym fitness instructors, you know, fit, attractive, uh, flight stewardess, things like that. Enter at your own risk, first and foremost, and second, not for beginners. Advance users only. <laughs> That's it, because that's a black pill waiting to happen, because at any moment, she can be hit on by any... I mean, she could be hit on, like, the lowest of nug-nugs to NBA players and stuff. I mean, you never know. And, I mean, and it's it's the how fast and how heavy the black pill will come. Like, it goes, she going to work at the gym, and then she's like, hey, I got this, I got this client, you know... And I need to stay afterwards. And then, as you know what, after work, I just went out for drinks with some co-workers. She's still with that same ninja. And then she's like, you know what? While I was out, my grandma called, said she wasn't feeling well. So I went and stayed at Nana's house. And, and now where we at? <laughs> yeah, and then she go from personal training to massage therapist. And you like, I thought you was just training people. And she's like, eh, it's a little more than that. <laughs> and then y'all get into an argument and then the truth come out and your chest tighten up <laughs> so with that being said be very experienced when dealing with those kind of women yeah, so it's like a rattlesnake not- it's like a poisonous snake right Ver- like you got gardener snakes then you got poisonous snakes don't don't even mess around with them if you ain't professional there you go you could tell a poisonous snake by the shape of its head. If it's got like a V type shape, that's how you tell a poisonous snake. How do you tell a hyena? Come on now. Big butt, upper body tattoo, approach with caution. You may get effed up. <laughs> that's it. Could be fatal. So, huh.